Hello, welcome to the video tutorials. Uh, today we are going to talk about one of the very important and popular um, JavaScript framework called jQuery. Now some of you may have already heard of it or may already are using it. Um, so maybe I'll just keep this one short. This is a sort of an intro video where um, if you all don't know anything about jQuery, you have, have heard a little bit, you may want to sit through it. Otherwise, move on to the next video if you already know the jQuery and want to get, um, you know, start programming and learning it. So jQuery is a JavaScript library. Um, so if you want to learn it, it's very important. You have already knowledge of JavaScript. Um, one thing it does is it simplifies uh, JavaScript programming. So as uh, I have written here, so as I've written here, uh, it's a JavaScript library. It simplifies uh, JavaScript programming. And the other thing which you is very important is that it's easy to learn. A lot of people think that you know jQuery, jQuery is difficult, it's syntax and whatever is it, but you just have to know it is easy to learn and it's very powerful. So if you are already in the web development or a programmer, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to learn. It will come very handy uh, in a lot of your uh, web development uh, programs. It really makes it easy to program and you can really do a lot of uh, cool things which makes uh, the user experience on the website very, uh, uh, very, uh, very friendly. So I'll, I'll walk you through a couple of examples to sh show you now how the jQuery makes a difference. Uh, so let's take you to a website which you would uh, see how the JavaScript is based. So this is a website on uh, endesign.com um, and you will see lots of websites like that. So this is a simple form and you will see how the jQuery is used. So let's type something. So let's try to type something which is uh, not a name and you see immediately I I have entered something which doesn't look like a name and the validation of the uh, form web form immediately got in and it immediately give me uh, the error message so so the validation is getting applied as I type and this is first of all it has to be done using you know client side scripting which is JavaScript uh, mostly uh, but using jQuery you can really do this thing in a one line of statement so let's now type in a simple name so it says still we want names for more than three letters so now as soon as I type the fourth one it immediately vanishes uh, same thing goes again for um, See, I am entering an uh, email which doesn't look like a valid address and it gives me an error. So once I enter, uh, it still doesn't recognize the right address because probably it is saying that in a bb.com is not a right So let's do a little bit. Okay. So now see it has good number of validations. Um, so like that, as you see, uh, it's a very uh, usable form and it gives you a good user experience in terms of uh, validations uh, and in terms of you know, how it prompts the user immediately. And the question is that you can do this thing in JavaScript, but you need to write a lot of you know, uh, code, but using jQuery you can do those things easily and we'll go through those examples. So I think the point I'm trying to make you uh, understand is uh, jQuery is, uh, is, a, is a tool with which you can really do nifty little tricks and, and 
give a user a good experience on a website uh, very easily uh, with not a lot of programming uh, because it has a lot of these things done in by its library all you have to do is call those uh, functions or program in such a way that those get used so now the next question comes if you're ready to learn uh, jquery you know where do you get it how do you install and all that thing so good thing is that jquery is really it's a library of javascript functions so all you have to do is really go to this uh, website um, it's called docs uh, dot jquery dot com slash download jquery and then you can click on downloading jquery and you can um, download it uh, you can download it and then as far as the installation is concerned uh, there is not much installation because it's a it's a library of JavaScript so all you do is that you 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 put it in a file so that it is accessible from your uh, code so for example if you have if you're putting all your JavaScripts in let's say a JScript folder or a JS folder um, then you might as well put it there and then just include it uh, at the uh, at your the header part of your uh, HTML the other option is that which you know if you're testing and you don't want to download there are there are a bunch of websites which hosts the jQuery so for example uh, you know the Google host jQuery so instead of downloading it and keeping it in your machine you can directly in your script you can directly access it and uh, or even Microsoft also has access to it. so depending on your preference uh, you can choose either of them Google or Microsoft so these will in avoid you uh, downloading it uh, so you know either way it's not a big deal uh, because it doesn't take a lot that much of space um, so that's about downloading and installing uh, I personally uh, during the testing I just you know use one of uh, Google's um, hosted version but sometimes you have to download plugins and those things and that you might just uh, download and uh, store it so th we will go through some of those things also uh, because th there are a lot of people developing on jQuery and then if they develop some plugins they make it available to the rest of uh, the people uh, so you can um, download those and they come sometimes very handy so that's about it the first slide so I think you have uh, you know learned a uh, little bit about the jQuery I hope uh, so it's a JavaScript library it simplifies uh, JavaScript programming and it's easy to learn um, so let me show you a simple uh, jQuery program and it's sort of you know hello world type of program um, so here I have a uh, simple jQuery as you see I have I'm accessing uh, the jQuery directly from Google's hosted version and then uh, I have a simple three lines of code all it does is it when the text is clicked it hides it now you know it there may be not directly usage it but I'm just you know this is again for the example of uh, just to show you so what I'm doing is that if this text will disappear if clicked and as you see I have just three simple lines of code uh, and we'll, we'll explain what this code does in our next video but I just want to show you um, how it works so here is our file um, so this is our file and if I clicked it as you see the text disappear so this is done using uh, the JavaScript so I think that's I think you know if you can understand the power of jQuery uh, with just three lines of code by calling few libraries uh, in fact this function I was able to accomplish it so we'll go through you know start going through more examples and how the different ways you can use jQuery from our next videos thank you